Catherine doing a Gymshark review? <gasps> you and I both are very surprised. I don't know what came over me, but the other day I was just on the Gymshark website and saw some new things and I was like, you know what? It's been a while since we've done a Gymshark review. Gymshark has just like disappointed me so much in the past and I don't have any Gymshark items that I like actually reach for right now. So I just haven't been reviewing them because a lot of it's just like not my style and just hasn't really appealed to me. Usually I just review it when something like a Whitney Simmons collection comes out or I reviewed the like KK Fit collection, you know, like kind of the special ones, but I didn't review the last Gymshark Whitney collection because it was just new colors and I didn't feel like I needed to like review it again because I'd already reviewed it. But today we have the new Sculpt Seamless. I saw it on the website, thought it looked pretty tame because sometimes Gymshark just like, does things that I, my main question is why? Like the What the Flex collection. I just like, they even knew that one was like crazy. I just had no words for that collection. So I wasn't gonna review it. Gymshark also mainly does seamless, which I used to think that I didn't really like seamless leggings, but now my all time favorite leggings that I wore like three times in this past week, the Alphalete Amplifies are seamless. That I've come to the conclusion that I just don't like the way that Gymshark does seamless because it's very like unibut booty hole scrunch, you know what I'm saying? But I thought this new collection looked a little bit different. I liked how the waistband was. So I was like, you know what? We'll give it a chance. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Catherine. I do a lot of active wear reviews, always taking suggestions down below. If I'm being honest, the reason why I reviewed Gymshark today was because I asked you guys for suggestions and someone said, why don't we revisit Gymshark? And that's what I did. I also got a couple pieces of the new Adapt Camo, just because I thought it's been a while since I reviewed the camo. I used to like that collection. So why don't we give it a try? All right, without further ado, let's start off with the sweat seat. Seamless. So a little background on the sweat seamless. I was just reading the description and it says your sweat speaks for itself. Now it's time to embrace it. I don't know if that means like this is going to show sweat and we're supposed to be embracing that or what? It has dynamic, not with an eye, trademarked technology powered by Sensil Nylon 66. I feel like I've seen that nylon like somewhere else before. Heightens breathability while still providing maximum durability. So it's supposed to be very breathable so you can stay cool during a sweaty workout session. So yeah, I can definitely be here for that. So I live in a very hot place that um, I cannot wear a pair of leggings if it's going to feel very hot. So I will let you know if these leggings feel like breathable summer leggings to me. Maybe we'll even do a little workout test. That's if they actually like fit and everything. Okay, let's start out with the Sweat Seamless Sculpt Shorts. So these are a five inch inseam short, which I think is a very nice length. So we have this kind of scoop down waistband, which I usually like because it provides a little extra lower tummy control, as well as kind of like gives your lower half like a little more like of a flattering shape in general. Here's a close up of the fabric, a couple different tiers of ribbing going on in this waistband. The waistband is also sewn on to the body of the shorts, which doesn't necessarily bother me. I don't think it's gonna cut in or anything, but the waistband definitely does feel like it's going to be pretty compressive, but the rest feels definitely super lightweight and stretchy. This is definitely a more like sleek material seamless legging. Sometimes like their camo can be like a little more of like a knit seamless. This is feeling a little more on the sleek side, which I like. I also didn't notice this at first. There's little laser cut details along the sides. And I hope these are thick thigh friendly because they have an interesting seam going on. So here's the bottom of the leg and it's almost, it almost kind of looks seamless, but there's just like a very thin inner seam. Feels pretty stretchy on the thighs. So I hope it's thick thigh friendly because your girl has pretty thick thighs for my size. The classic Gymshark vinyl logo. Gymshark always has to throw something at me where I'm like, why would you do that, you know? So I found the questionable area. For some reason, Gymshark seems to be having this trend of putting underwear on the outside of your clothes. Like the Gymshark KK Fit collection looked like you had underwear lines in the front, which I just was like, why is that a look we wanna go for? And the back of this looks like we're putting the outline of a thong right on the back of the leggings. It's subtle but it's there. I actually did see an athlete wearing these on my Instagram feed. And when the light hits this little like panel, you definitely see it. So I hope we can see it might be better when it's on, but there's definitely a distinct contour detailing going right down that looks literally like a thong. Like, why are we doing that? Why would we do that? Anyways, we'll see when it's on. Something else that I just generally don't find myself liking about Seamless, it's very easy to give you a unibutt look and I definitely prefer to have some cheek separation. I'm not imagining we're going to have a lot of cheek separation in this. They do have one of those little raised pseudo seams, I like to call them, which helps a little bit, but we'll see how much we can get this up the glutes. Okay, so these shorts, they almost got me. First of all, I really like the multiple tiers of the waistband. Kind of reminds me of the Alphalete Amplifies that I like, just because it does go all the way to the smallest point of your waist, snatch you in a little bit, but this one doesn't feel so tight that I feel like I'd be spilling out of it. Definitely is 
is a little bit snug. So if you're on the larger end of the size range, especially for waistband sizes, I would definitely choose the larger size. But I love the dip down in the waist. I just feel like it gives you a little extra shape that a straight across waistband doesn't. And it definitely gives that lower tummy control. I always just feel better with just like a little compression right there. So this one, I really like how it goes down and then scoops around. I wish it didn't just scoop around like this in the back. Like it would be better if it was like, you know, kind of a contoured. Okay, but do you see? You see the little thong detail, guys? I'm not crazy. There's like, literally it looks like the outline of a thong. And this also almost looks Kind of sheer i don't even know i guess we'll double squat test these to be sure but like why why would you have this here like from the back does that not look like you can see my underwear lines from underneath that's what it looks like these shorts were almost good if they just replaced that with like a little scrunch action these would be amazing but no we have to put a thong outside the shorts so many questions about that anyways got the logo here not a super big fan of the way they do their logos but at least it's pretty subtle um laser cut detailing also very subtle and yeah i'm really liking the seam that they're doing at the bottom here because i feel like it's kind of keeping the shorts in place because it's kind of like a longer like one full inch here but there's no like tight seams so it's actually pretty thick thigh friendly um i feel like these would actually stay put pretty well during the workout they're a five inch which sometimes rolls up on me but kind of rarely so these do feel like they'd be secure throughout my workout so love how they feel in the thighs overall compression we're gonna go with medium but definitely like high in the waistband here and this is definitely a more dense seamless material so it's kind of hard to situate it up and around the glutes and i really wasn't able to make it contour my glutes at all sometimes it's something like a navigation seamless like they're so thin and stretchy that you can pull them around the glutes and get a little glute separation make them very flattering but these i'm just not getting that so these are getting like a low to medium on the booty scale just because that's what a unibus seamless is gonna do the front and the length we're definitely a fan of again these are a nice high rise really liking this waistband so yeah let me know what you guys think of these but i feel like these were so close to being a really solid pair of shorts but just fell a little bit short okay so we have the sweat seamless sports bra which immediately i have um, a question of why the teals don't match um, I guess that this is a different teal than the shorts, which was an upsetting finding. Because if you launch two very similar teal colors in the same collection, I would just assume they'd be the same color. So beware, there are two different teals. Luckily, they do kind of go together, but that was just a little bit of a shock to me. So we have the Sweat Seamless Sports Bra, kind of in the same shape of like the Lululemon like flow Y bra. So you have like a little scoop in the front, a more compressive ribbed detail on the bottom. We have some cut pads, they feel pretty solid. And then you have two little spaghetti straps that come together in the back. So not going to be a very high support sports bra. So we'll see what I think of it. But yeah, let's try it on. Okay, so definitely very flattering sports bra. It's gonna, you know, push the girls up, make them look nice and perky. But this strap, is so itchy like i literally just put it on and i can't wait to take this off like it's not going to be cutting into me yet oh just kidding i already have a red mark and it's not just that the strap is super tight but the seams on the inside are like super rough and stiff definitely not a sports bra i could wear for a long period of time i don't know if i could really wear this much at all because that would be very uncomfortable like i can handle a tight strap here and there but when it's like painfully itchy that's when it gets hard for me anyways it's not going to be my top choice for a larger cup size i am definitely um spilling out of it a little at the top a little side boob as well and i'm not fully contained within the actual bust part of the sports bra i am spilling into the bottom band a little bit so i'm gonna go with a light coverage and we're gonna go light to medium support it's compressing me a pretty good amount so we're getting a little support from that i do like the material feels nice for summer um very sleek not super heavy i would say true to size um but size up if in between definitely is a little bit snug especially along like the band here the bottom band's compressive but there's no elastic in it. It's just the more ribbed version of the material. So it's not gonna be cutting in there. But yeah, this whole sewn strap along the edge there is going to cut into me. So yeah, I would consider a size up in this one. Definitely very open, good like back day sports bra. Uh, personally, this one just isn't gonna be one of my go-tos. This is why sometimes I wish they would come out with like two sports bras for one collection but they do have some tops that you can put over them if the sports bra isn't really your thing okay then we have the sweat seamless long sleeve 
crop top. So this is definitely in a much more lightweight material. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, this material doesn't feel super high quality. Like I felt like the seamless material of the leggings was definitely like a nice thick, seamless, which I've had thinner Gymshark seamless tops before that I really liked. So I just am not really preferring this one. Yeah, there's just something I'm not liking about how this fabric is looking and like the edging on it. Plus this is a fabric that clearly needs to have a sewn hem at the end, but they did add laser cut detailing. So I'd just be a little concerned as to how this laser cut is going to hold up because generally you do a laser cut on a fabric that like doesn't need to be hemmed because you know it can hold that laser cut detail without having any runs. This one I'd be a little concerned about this one almost feels like a little more like a little more cottony, less sleek. It's super lightweight though. It's kind of a longer long sleeve crop and it does have one of those little um, drawstring details at the bottom. So you can kind of cinch the hem a little bit, which I do find to be pretty cute. So let's try this one on. All right, so here's the top. First I will say sleeves are super long, which I personally like a long sleeve, but if the sleeves are gonna be so long that they go like over most of my hands, I would have liked a little thumb hole in here just to kind of keep them there or else I tend to keep them like this and then they're pretty baggy. So yeah, just not loving the material. First of all, that's like actually pretty sheer, but it's just a top, so it doesn't really matter. This reminds me of a top that Gymshark had with their lightweight seamless collection, and I just felt like that material was a lot better. This one's like almost somewhat itchy and just doesn't feel great. That one was very similar. It was like a slightly baggy top with the same little drawstring. So I just tightened up the drawstring here. So you get a little bit of a cinched waist. You can tuck in the string. So I just tucked it up underneath so you don't see it. You still show a little bit of skin with the rise of these leggings and the cropped length of this, but it's not very much. So yeah, I think this would be lightweight, breathable. This does feel like the type of fabric that would show sweat pretty easily. Okay, I just poured a little water on this top, which isn't always a perfect representation of sweat, but, but it's not very sweat wicking and definitely will show some sweat. So I would just imagine a good amount of pit sweat here, which is totally normal and I don't really care about, but just thought I would mention. And lastly, you have a lot of these laser cut details under the arm and on the back as well. For sizing, I would say true to size. If you're in between, I'd probably size up though, because with this little drawstring, I feel like you can have kind of a slightly baggier fit and then still cinch it in the waist. Okay, next we're switching into a different color. I thought this was a nice like kind of reddish brown. This is the Sweat Seamless Midi Tank. So I love this length of tank because you can still wear like something semi-cropped that's not gonna go over your leggings, but you're not really showing any skin because it is still gonna cover your midsection up to a high-waisted legging. So I thought this was cute. This one is in the same material as the leggings. So you have that more dense, sleek, seamless. So this is better than the other top. My only thing is you do have this little cutout in the back and I don't know like what kind of view you're gonna get with that cutout. It looked like some of the models on the website you could just kind of see the base of the bra through it, which I don't find that exciting. Sometimes they design their tanks so that when you layer it over the sports bra in the collection, you can kind of see an interesting back detail, but I'm not quite getting that with this one. Got some laser cut detailing as well as some contoured panel detailing. So let's try it on. Okay, so here is the semi crop. I'm not loving it as much as I thought. So thought it'd be a little longer, but I am okay with this length. You do just get like, a very little bit of skin, but more coverage than the sports bra. Kind of scoops around the armpit area, so you are gonna cover the sports bra you're wearing underneath, especially if you're wearing the Y-back one, which by the way, I'm still wearing it, and I can't wait to take it off. It is hurting me so much. So you have this ribbed contour detailing that kind of scoops around the bust here. This material is a lot more opaque than the long sleeve, so definitely liking this better. And layering this kind of top with a sports bra underneath, you are gonna get extra support from the sports bra underneath because it does kind of compress as well. I feel like this straight up and down style tank with no kind of like scooping in or scooping of the neckline isn't the option that's the most flattering for me. So this isn't something I would go for. And then here's the back. And you see, I just feel like, why would they put this cut out so that if you wear the bra, that is part of this collection, you don't get like any sort of interesting like look in the back. Because if I was wearing the brown bra under this, it would be like, why would you even have a cutout? Because it would look like there is no cutout to begin with. So I wish this cutout was placed somewhere else so that you'd get a little more of like an interesting look, maybe at the top so you could like see the straps come through. I don't know, just my opinion. I just don't really think that's the best placement, but yeah. With this bra underneath, I feel like the top is making me uncomfortable, but it's actually the bra. So the top is good. Um, definitely gonna be a snug fit. So if you don't want it like super skin tight, size up, 
but this is how it's meant to be fitted. Snug on the waistband here, and you have a little more stretch up here because the fabric at the top isn't quite as compressive as the ribbed band. Okay, next we have the sweat seamless sculpt leggings. So essentially very similar to the shorts, but they're just in legging form. They listed the inseam of the shorts on the website, but the leggings, they just said that they're a full length. Like, I don't think you can just say that something is full length. You have to say the inseam because I guarantee you, these are gonna be a seven eighths on my five nine self. So please don't just say full length legging and not give a, an, an inseam. Honestly, a lot of brands just don't list the inseams on the website, which I feel like is just such an easy thing that they could do that's just so irritating that you just wouldn't be giving the consumers that information. Like, I need to know how long the leggings are. Anyways, a little rant over. So we have that same little like, thong type detail in the back. Not my cup of tea, but it's there. This one I am finding quite a few more little like loose fuzzy strings. But yeah, waistband is the same. You have that dip down, you have the layered panel contour detailing, and then you have a little more laser cut detailing like on the back of the calves of the leggings. And instead of that kind of seamless hem that the shorts had, you have a little like ribbed ankle hem here, which Looks pretty small. I hope I can get to my feet through here. But yeah, let's try this on. Okay, so I didn't notice this until I was putting on the leggings, but on the shorts as well, they have this little line in the fabric that somewhat distinguishes this region and the legs. So they're almost bringing back that like built-in granny panty detail that they had in the KK Fit collection. Super subtle, so it really doesn't bother me on these, but I just had to mention that because I don't know why they do that. So anyways, they're not looking so good right now because these have been so difficult to get on. I don't really understand because the shorts really weren't that compressive. They weren't squishing my thighs, but the leggings feel so tight. Like I'm really having trouble getting them all the way at my legs that I wouldn't be surprised if I'm a little bit out of breath after I get these on because it's just been, it's been a journey. Clearly it's like really, really tight on my legs. Like I have no room in the calves. So for my like thicker legged people, definitely choose a size up because this is, Really annoying. I just feel like for leggings, it just shouldn't be as much of an issue for them to be super tight on my legs because they're supposed to be stretchy. So the shorts are definitely more thick thigh friendly. Um, the leggings feel like I need to size up in these. So they feel about the same in the waist as the shorts did, but generally throughout the legs, they're just feeling more snug. So I'm also definitely getting some tightness in the crotch when squatting. I'm getting some tightness in the knees when squatting. So that kind of tells me this fabric definitely has a limit to its stretchiness. Definitely not the most stretchy of the fabrics. They also said this is supposed to be like a really lightweight, breathable, seamless. And in these leggings, they almost are giving like faux leather in the feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling like that, but they're just really not giving breathable, stretchy that I was kind of expecting out of the leggings. The shorts definitely felt better to me. Now that I have it fully up and down the legs, this is definitely like a more compressive, sleek performance, but I really wouldn't say that this is the most lightweight summery legging. I have made videos on my favorite summer leggings in the past. It's It's been a while, honestly. But in terms of Gymshark, a legging that I was always okay wearing during the summer was their lightweight seamless, super lightweight, super breathable. This one, you won't be catching me going to work out in 100 degrees in my gym in the summer in these. I would overheat, it's just too much. That's a little bit of a bummer. Other than that, really I'm just loving this waistband detail. I hope they keep that on other leggings. I love the kind of tiered panel detailing they have. I don't really ever have a camel problem in their seamless leggings. So personally, I am okay with these. Lots of laser cut detail down the side and then also down the back of the calves here. And then with the shorts, I was able to pull them up and sculpt the glutes a little bit, but with these leggings, I'm just not really able to pull any fabric up the leg. I've pulled up as much as I can. So we're definitely left with, again, a low to medium booty scale. But that interesting little decoration, you could say, back there. But yeah, I mean, they're not the worst for the glutes. At least they have that little seam there. They're just, they just definitely could be better if these were a little bit stretchier. If I tried a medium, maybe I would have different thoughts, but I definitely felt like this small in the shorts was my correct size. So yeah, definitely feeling a medium high compression overall. They're pretty compressive, but they are just all one color and kind of shiny. So I wouldn't say these are going to be the most cellulite friendly. The camo seamless are definitely gonna be your friend when it comes to disguising cellulite, if that's what your goal is. And still a high waist. With this waistband, I feel like it is going to keep your leggings up very well. So I don't imagine that these would slide down. But yeah, the shorts kind of got me excited about how the leggings would feel, but 
these just feel super tight on me. Okay, and lastly, I got the Adapt Camo Shorts. Wow, these look even shorter than I thought. So they've definitely updated their camo quite a bit. I don't know if I've tried the Adapt Camo. I've definitely tried the Adapt like Animal Seamless, some of the other Adapts, and this one is definitely like a super textured type of seamless. So here's the up close. And if you even look like a little bit from the side, it is like a raised knit pattern. So this is definitely a much thicker seamless, a little less like summer friendly. It's not quite sleek performance. They tend to be pretty durable, but they're not quite as sleek. It feels a little more like a knit material. So with prints like this, you always get like a little better cellulite coverage as well. And I thought that the Adapt Camo had a scrunch in the back, but I guess it just has a little raised seam. Clearly it's been a while since I've tried this stuff. This one just has a ribbed waistband that's all one kind of density here and it flows seamlessly into the shorts. It's not like sewn on like the sweat seamless and feels like a pretty stretchy leg hole as well. Let's try it on. All right, here are the shorts. I will say I actually think this print is pretty cute. It's like a more diffuse camo, not like a super structured block camo. And I definitely like the prints. They just look a little more blended. I like that it has the texture, especially good for cellulite. Not as much so in shorts, but definitely in leggings. But we are getting some squishing of the thighs. So, so definitely not thick thigh friendly. I have barely any space in these shorts. The other shorts, I had a lot more space in the same size. I definitely liked the other shorts better, even with that little back detail. I just feel like they're overall more flattering. This one, you just have that flat waistband that I don't feel like kind of sucks you in quite as much. Doesn't define your waist as much. Got the no front seam here. Got some cutting in of the shorts, which is not very comfortable. And then these are just feeling kind of stiff in general to the point where I don't think I'd be able to make these very flattering on the glutes. I feel like the original Gymshark camo seamless was always super stretchy. These just don't feel like they have quite as much stretch. I've even tried their like Adapt Animal seamless in the past and that was pretty stretchy. So I'm not sure where we're going today with the lack of stretch. And yeah, definitely getting some major unibutt. So another low to medium on the booty scale. This seam just really not doing much for me. Okay, and then honestly, I just feel like I had to try the lace back long sleeve crop. I also don't know what everyone's obsession is with seamless long sleeves, like long sleeve crops, I mean. There are so many brands that just make all these long sleeve crop tops. And I'm like, will I wear them if I have them? Sure, but I just really don't go out of my way to buy something that has long sleeves to like keep my arms warm, but then my torso is cold. So Gymshark, definitely not the only one who does this, but they definitely do it a lot. I feel like this little lace up situation would have been super cute in like a sports bra or a tank, but they just did it in the long sleeves. So it's kind of a bummer. Oh, there's no thumb holes either. I feel like they used to be better about thumb holes. Anyways, same material as the seamless shorts, but it's a top. Okay, so the top, definitely a snug fitted fit but this is a lot stretchier than the shorts felt to me. So I would say true to size. It's definitely going to be snug though. So if you don't want it like skin tight, I would size up. Again, the sleeves are plenty long enough to have fit a thumb hole in here, but I didn't put a thumb hole. And I just feel like I've come to take thumb holes for granted. Like I expect them so much in my long sleeves, um, especially the Gymshark. I feel like they used to do that. Maybe I'm making that up. But anyways, would have loved to see a little thumb hole in here. Honestly, this doesn't really seem like camo to me. This more seems like a little sandstone, which I think is cute. So definitely a pretty cropped length. You're not gonna show your sports bra underneath this one because I have like a little ways before I see the sports bra, but you're not covering a lot of torso skin. And then we go to the back and yeah, I mean, on the website, they showed people wearing this with like nothing underneath, but there is, there's no bra support or anything. So personally, I would still need to wear a bra under this. So this isn't something that I feel like I could really make the look like go super well because I'd always be wearing a bra and you would see it underneath the little like crisscross detail. So I think the crisscross detail is a nice little thought, but I think it would be better in a sports bra where you know you'd be supported and you wouldn't have to wear anything underneath. Okay guys, so that's it for the review. I definitely have not been converted back into a Gymshark or girly with any of these pieces. They just didn't fit or flatter me super well um, in terms of seamless. It's just like, isn't really what I look for in a seamless. The shorts honestly were almost there. Really loved the length, loved the waistband. I just would have preferred a little more flattering of a look in the back, but everything else was kind of a no for me. Let me know if you tried any of these down in the comments below. And as always, leave any review suggestions. And again, if you are not subscribed, make sure to do so. It's free. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.